Okay, so here is MRPT, which is a robotic software package. Uh, what I have here is defined a set of DH parameters that describes a robotic arm. Uh, this particular robotic arm is made up of five revolute joints. Um, <clears throat> the orientation of these uh, in I think matches pretty closely to what the in-move arm is. Uh, walk through some of the, the movements here. So the x-axis is uh, indicated by the red arrow, the y is green, and the z-axis is blue. <clears throat> so the, the first one is the base frame. This represents where the torso would turn for the in-move. Uh, so that's just kind of there as a placeholder. Um, the first joint is the omoplate. So theta two here is the omoplate movement, and you can see that you know it goes basically between minus 80 degrees and you know maybe up a, a little bit further. But that's that's the omoplate movement. <clears throat> the next one is the shoulder, which rotates forward and backwards. So that's theta three in this this model. Theta theta four is the rotate, which you can tell like rotates the the elbow uh, around. This this robot obviously has quite a bit of degrees of freedom and, and motion here. So alright, so that's that's the elbow. I'm sorry, that's the rotate. The elbow is theta five, and this is the elbow going up and down. And the idea is that the palm of the robot or ultimately the wrist actually should go at five, uh, but that represents the the hand position uh, of the in-move. Interestingly enough, in the lower right-hand corner here, you can see that this is actually the uh, transformation matrix that allows you to change from the uh, coordinate system indicated here at the end of point five to the coordinate system zero uh, at the base. So this is how we can kind of compute the forward kinematics. We say at the origin here, what position in XYZ is that with respect to the to the base? So the this program here it's free. Um, it seemed to be pretty pretty accurate and, and easy to use. Uh, the key four parameters that we have here uh, are theta, uh, d, a, and alpha, which are the 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 um, the Devonet Hartenberg. Uh, parameters for for this arm. So the goal really is going to be to understand if these distances um, uh, A and D are correct, and to make sure that the the twist of the angle between each one of the links just is correct as well. Theta is the uh, angle that we can control with the servos, so we don't have to worry about that one so much, uh, other than understanding what the uh, the rest position is there. So hope you liked it, hope you're hopefully, um, I don't know, enjoy.